Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to use the free version of typing.com. Typing.com is a website with tutorials and games for students to learn how to type. Teachers can get started by going to typing.com and creating a free account with Google. Click here and here. You'll accept the permissions and choose to set up a class. Continue with Google. You'll select your school name here. Once you're signed up, you can roster your class here. Choose to sync your Google Classroom. Click here. We ask that you please complete these steps before having students sign in so you can track their activity. Hover over the class name and click here to change the settings. In the Games tab, we prefer that you hide NitroType because users can choose their usernames and this can result in inappropriate names and innuendos. If you choose, you can also go to the Lessons tab and hide any lessons your students aren't ready for, but that's totally optional. In the Students tab, you can find a list of students and when they last logged in. You can click a student's name to get more details and track their activity. Halfway down the page, you'll see information about their time, lessons completed, speed, and accuracy. At the bottom, you'll see a chart of their progress. The Reports tab has helpful information about all your students' progress. If you click into a report, you can see all your students' information. You can click the Custom Lessons tab to create either a custom lesson or a test. This could be a cool way to tie in something the students are already learning. For instance, you could paste in a passage about science to tie in with their current science unit, and the kids could take a test to see how much information they can type in one minute. Students can find your content in the Custom Lessons tab here. There's also a Curriculum tab, which is a great way to preview what students see on their lessons, typing tests, and games pages. Plus, you can see a list of Illinois standards. Once your class is set up, it's time to have students sign in. They will go to typing.com, click here and here, and sign in with Google. Click here and here. They should see your class listed here. Tell students which lesson you want them to work on, and they'll click Start to begin. The tutorial begins with a video, so you'll want students to use headphones. By the way, if the sound effects are too distracting, you can always mute them here. After the video, students will be instructed to type. They'll follow the instructions on the screen. Throughout the lesson, they will be rated for accuracy and accumulate progress. Their words per minute will also appear on the screen. You can encourage students that even if it starts low, they'll make a lot of progress very quickly if they keep practicing. Next, we'll check out the tests tab. This is where students can complete typing tests based on time or number of pages. They will start the test until either the time or number of pages runs out. At the end, they will get their results and they can even download a certificate. The Games tab is great for not only typing lessons, but any free time or indoor recess activities you may want to assign to students. The Games allow students to choose which mode and level they're ready for and begin the game. The Progress tab has information where students can see how far they've come in their typing journey. If they use the drop-down, they can also view their achievements and the class scoreboard. The Themes tab is a fun way for students to customize their account. If you need the Spanish version of the website, you can use typing.com es or use the drop-down to change the language. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss our next tutorial.